look, learning about personal finance is either way too boring or way too complicated. And it's about time that changed. In this video series, I'm gonna use my experience as a financial advisor and as a gamer to help explain important personal finance concepts I think that you should understand. And I'm gonna explain them through video games. In today's video, I'm gonna explain some important concepts around the stock market using Call of Duty Warzone. Let's jump into it. I know what you're thinking. What the heck is this guy talking about? How could the stock market and Call of Duty have anything to do with each other? I only clicked on the video so I could rage against it in the comments. Just remember to hit that subscribe button when you're like, the son of a gun did it. He really did it. And I'm not teaching things like what's a stock to help you pass a test. No. In Misfit Money, we're going through concepts and ideas that are useful to your everyday life. The first important concept to understand is what players make up the market. In any given Warzone match, you could find the I've got time for one game guy, you got the everyday player, you got the streamer, you got the stream sniper, and you got the hacker. And depending on how many of each player type you have in a match, it's going to determine what the game feels like or how difficult it is. The stock market isn't really any different. It's composed of many different people with different strategies and motivations and different levels of experience. Here's some player comparisons. You know that I've got time for one game guy? Well, in the stock market, this is the person who logs into their brokerage account or their 401k for 15 minutes on their lunch break to make a change. They're typically making a trade based on a headline or a gut feeling, and it's typically not a very big trade, which is okay. Big traders doesn't mean better traders. He likes to dip his toes in the market and has one of those this one time I stories that he likes to tell friends whenever they get together. Your everyday player is what people would refer to as an active trader or a day trader. By the way, a day trader is an actual designation with regulators and brokers might subject you to some more strenuous rules than what you might expect if you get labeled a day trader. So make sure you know that before you start slinging trades around one day after watching Wolf of Wall Street. These are people that are familiar with the basics of the market. They have a strategy and they know how to tweak it depending on how the game feels on any given day. They're typically looking to gain a little ground on each transaction and aren't swinging for the fences. I'm pretty much saying they're not the player that drops Superstore every game. Next up, you've got the streamer, which in stock market terms is an institutional trader. Those are big companies, big businesses. They make a big splash in a game when people know they're there and their decisions influence the actions of others. And that brings us to the stream snipers. These are people with inside information that use that information to disrupt things for selfish gain. They're there, nobody likes them, and they're just a byproduct of the fact that the system exists. They're like mold. It just grows in dark wet spots and pisses people off. Last up is the hacker, which in stock market context shouldn't be looked at as cheater, but as algorithmically assisted. These are computer traders. They're sometimes called algorithmic traders or high frequency traders. They use computer programs to make really fast, really small trades that a person wouldn't be capable of inputting on their own. They tell a program what to do and the computer does it. Still a feels bad man for the normal everyday guy. Now, You've been in a game where there were hackers and it felt completely different than a game where there's a bunch of low skilled players on their first match of the day. Each time you drop into Verdansk, the mix is different. And it's the same thing with the stock market. Some days there are more sweats and some days there's easy money and you don't know what it'll be like until you drop. Tell me if you've heard this from one of your friends before. You should have seen it. I dropped in, I knew exactly what I was going to do. Me and this guy, we went back and forth but I ended up winning out in the end. It was basically the best move I've ever made. You gotta do X, Y, Z. Your investor friends have said that about a stock and your Call of Duty friends have said that about a kit or a landing location. The stock market is a massive battle royale. Just like every gunfight in Warzone, in every stock trade, there's one winner, and one loser. It's a zero sum game. And just like Call of Duty Warzone, in the stock market, there's more losers than there are winners. If every strategy worked every time, nothing would be accomplished. And just like the way in Call of Duty, your social circle only ever tells you about their wins and rarely tells you about their losses, the same thing happens in the stock market. That's the next stock market concept I want you to understand. There's always one winner in every transaction, and individual stock traders lose more often than they win. But why is there only one winner in each transaction, Maverick? Glad you asked. Because if you knew you could sell a stock for $5 more tomorrow, would you ever sell it today? 
And if you knew tomorrow you can buy a stock for $5 less than you can buy it today, why would you ever pay $5 more today? You wouldn't. Every exchange is a gunfight. One winner, one loser, period. I'm out. Here's a really important stop screwing around tip. There's only ever been one shortcut to success. That's luck. Luck isn't a strategy. Nobody's selling you the stock trading secrets to win in the market every time like Buffett. That's stupid. The sentence is stupid. Just like if someone said to you, buy this Nick Merck's MFAM scuff controller and you're guaranteed to win every game of Call of Duty, you would call that person stupid. Because they're stupid. Just tell them to stop blowing smoke up your skirt. For every instant of overnight success, there's a million stories of failure, which means overnight success is not a normal event. There's a reason they're called outliers. Ted's newsletter on six stocks to guarantee you retirement is bullshit. Nobody sells the secret to wealth, because the moment it stops being a secret, it's useless. Which leads us into our next point. But before we get there, just to clarify, there's only ever been one shortcut to success, which is luck, and luck is not a strategy. Don't live that way. The next point's gonna come as a surprise. The most valuable thing in Warzone and the most valuable thing in the stock market are the exact same. And no, I'm not talking about cash. It's information. With the right information, you can defeat anyone on the playing field. You've only got a pistol? Doesn't matter if the opponent doesn't know where you're at. You knew the pandemic was serious last December and knew video conferencing was the future of business? Who cares what anyone else says? Buy Zoom and screw everyone else's opinion. Just don't be wrong. Information is the great equalizer on the battlefield. And the stock market's a battlefield. Here's the bad news. Perfect information doesn't exist. You're never going to be absolutely positive. There are environmental forces outside of your control that don't care how good your information is. Think of it like this from a war zone perspective. You know where the guys around you are. You've been playing with perfect position all day. You were forced down into the dam area by making the right calls on rotations based on all the shooting that happened around you. And then the gods in Valhalla decide that the circle is going to pull up into the mountains and Odin just starts laughing at you. Yeah, and for you guys out there going, you should have known it was pulling up there. Shut your cake hole! You can only work with the information you have. Clairvoyance isn't a thing. Go sell your newsletter on guaranteed ways to win on a 2 a.m. infomercial and leave the misfits alone. You work with the information you're given, and sometimes the world moves against you. At the end of the day, information is going to be the most valuable thing you have in the stock market and Call of Duty Warzone. The gods moving against you leads us to the final lesson for today. I call it the cascade effect. If you've played Warzone and had this experience, know that the same exact thing happens at the stock market. You drop in, you can't find a gun anywhere. Some player landed on a random rooftop and picked up a gold thermal AK-12. He's popping shots through the 23 windows you're surrounded by. You dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge to the next building with cover, hoping for a gun, and you run into a Krakatoa with dragon breast shells and some dude with MFAM tag in his name. I don't know why I keep referencing Nick Marks in the MFAM. I love Nick Merckx in the M fam. I'm a part of the M fam. But that shotgun sucks to be on the wrong side of, and I blame you, Nick. I blame you. Everything went wrong for you there. One event cascaded into the next event, and it just kept dragging you down like quicksand. Now the same thing can happen in the other direction. You could be the one that got the fire shotgun. Now you've got all the money that I had picked up, which allows you to go get your loadout. Now you have ghosts, and the people around you can't see you. And your heartbeat sensor is picking up targets like Ripley's and aliens. Seven. Six. Can't be that's inside the room. It's reading right, man. Look. You set them on fire. Now you have more money, and you go buy more gadgets like UAVs. And you see more people, and you go get more kills. The cascading effect of positive or negative events is a real thing that exists in our world too. We've all had a family member that's had a similar experience to this. The U.S. economy experiences a recession. Your cousin's company decides to lay workers off, and he's one of them. Now he's got no income, but the mortgage is still due every month. He starts getting behind. The bank doesn't care about the world's conditions, and they start the foreclosure process. Each event made things progressively worse. The opposite is true, too. Listening to Dr. Lupo tell a story is a great example of that. He describes himself as very lucky. Mind you, this is an oversimplification of all the hard work he's done. Some milestones in a story, when he tells it, kind of get this feel. 
he talks about how he killed Ninja in PUBG. Sent him a message and they ended up playing duos together. Then they got a bunch of wins. Fortnite released their Battle Royale. Those two decided to play Fortnite together. Ninja starts to take off, ends up doing the Ninja Vegas live event, asked Dr. Lupo to cast it. And next thing you know, a year later, he's casting the Fortnite World Cup and he's one of the biggest streamers in the world. Mind you, that's an oversimplification of all of the events and hard work that he put into it. But listening to him tell a story kind of tells it like that. He always comments about how lucky he got in life to get where he's at right now. The stock market experiences the same cascading effect of events. Inertia is a hard thing to battle. Sometimes it just runs you over or it lifts you up depending on where you're standing when the movement starts. This is why risk management is so important. But we'll get to that in another video. If you've gotten this far in the video, I hope you've got a smile on your face and you're saying, he did it. Look at him go. That son of a gun did it. He really explained concepts of the stock market using a video game. It's important to be able to recognize the types of players you're up against and to understand how the game flows, whether it's the stock market or Call of Duty Warzone. You have to face the fact that sometimes you'll make all the right decisions and you'll still lose. Part of life. There's always going to be one winner and one loser in every encounter. You've got to put yourself in the best possible position for each engagement and not bet the farm on one gunfight. And most importantly, it's to remember that no one's selling you the shortcut to success. There's only ever been one shortcut to success. It's luck. Luck isn't a strategy. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed this approach to explaining personal finance concepts. Consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you'll be alerted when new content comes out. We've got a whole bunch of content in the pipeline that I'm pretty excited about. If this was your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for coming by. It means a lot to all my other misfits out there. Take care.